A Kansas City home sprayed with bullets with four children still inside, and their mother says it was all over a cell phone. My aunt just kept yelling, drop, everybody drop, hit the floor, hit the floor. 41 Action News reporter Brian Abel joins us live from East Patrol. Brian, what happened? Yeah, Dia, just minutes into this Mother's Day, that shooter opened fire into that home. Any of those bullets could have hit any of the seven people inside, including a three-year-old boy. Retaliation, the victims say, because of a stolen cell phone. An argument erupts on this Casey Moe Street late Saturday night. But apparently she tracked the phone back here. Taikicha Fullman says a woman and two men claimed a stolen phone was at this home on Garfield Avenue. After telling them it nor the people that stole it were here, Fullman and others went inside. No later than 20 to 30 minutes after we've been in the house, we heard gunshots. Here's one right here. The shooter fired between four and six shots into the house shortly after midnight. On the other side of the walls, Fullman and her four children. 11, 7, 4, and 3. Having moved here just weeks ago from Delaware. I froze up. Like, I froze. Like, my aunt just kept yelling, drop. Everybody drop, hit the floor, hit the floor. And I hit the floor and it was just, it was, it was scary. But uh, more or less, I was more worried about my babies. Her youngest in the living room at the time, inches away from being hit. It's just a simple fact, like, if the bullets would have went anywhere else and went through, he could have been hit as well. It's too much. It's too much. For over what? A phone? You're willing to take a life over a phone of innocent bystanders at that. Now, the most recent data released by KCPD shows at the end of March, a 37% increase in drive-by shootings from last year. Now, this shooting still being investigated by KCPD. No word on suspects identified or any arrest made. Dia.